Things have come a long way since Minecraft Alpha, where you had to individually pick up each stack of items you wanted to put into your inventory. There are some fairly unknown features in Minecraft that can save you quite a bit of time. So let's go ahead and let's check some of them out. So today we're going to be checking out some time-saving tricks in survival Minecraft. If you'd like me to do a list of creative mode time-saving tips, leave a comment down below. The first one is something I actually didn't know about until not that long ago. For a while, wolves have had a list of mobs that they attack, sheep and skeletons being the primary ones. But did you know that wolves, tamed or untamed, will specifically track skeletons through walls with a distance of up to 10 blocks in any direction, regardless as to whether or not the wolf has had line of sight with the skeleton before. The wolf will look specifically in the direction that the skeleton is in, making it easy to find caves that you may have otherwise missed. From here, the list actually gets pretty simple. Next up is an easy way to get cooked food in Minecraft. Just carry around a flint and steel or a bucket of lava and set the mobs on fire that you want to get food from and then attack them. As long as the mob dies while it's on fire, it will drop cooked food, preventing the need to place down a furnace all the time if you want to replenish your health. Thankfully, 1.11 has fixed the hunger problem though quite a bit, and I made a video about that not too long ago. Next up is one of my favorite ones. Endermen can be really tricky to fight, and creating an effective farm of them is really tricky, especially since you only really need one before going to the end, and you can only get guaranteed Endermen spawns after you've been to the end. To maximize your chance of getting those sweet ender pearls without dying, just create a two block protection area above your head, three or four blocks in length and width. Then, when you're standing in the center of it, engage the enderman just by looking at it and it won't be able to get past your barrier, and likely won't even teleport while you're fighting it either because you're not looking directly at it. And even if it does, it still won't get to you, and it makes for a really easy way to get a lot of ender pearls fairly quickly. So this one I'm truthfully not sure as to how many people are really aware of, but did you know that you don't actually need diamonds to get to the end? Traditional Minecraft mechanics would suggest that you need to mine obsidian in order to get a nether portal, to get blaze rods, and then be able to go to the end. And of course, mining obsidian requires diamonds. But if you want to save a lot of time getting to the ender dragon, just get a water bucket and find a lava pool. From there, you can actually shape out a nether portal by placing lava on the ground and then and having water turn the lava into obsidian, making getting blaze rods a whole lot easier. While you're at it, you can save a ton of time traveling long distances while you're in the nether, and all you need to do is go up to the top of the nether with some ender pearls and throw them when you're at the highest possible point that you can get to. With some luck, you'll actually land on the bedrock ceiling of the nether and can travel really, really far, really fast. Just be sure to bring the materials with you to build another nether portal. Otherwise, you're permanently stuck there unless you kill yourself. Alright, two more tips to go. This one I feel is going to be fairly well known, but it saves a lot of time, so it's still made the list because this is a time-saving list. While hovering over your items in your inventory, there's a lot that you can do to make the process of sorting your items really fast. By hovering over an item and pressing 1 through 9 on the top of your keyboard, that item will instantly move to the number slot on your keyboard corresponding to the number that you pressed, and the other item that was there will get swapped out. Also, if you hover over an item and hit Q, it will drop a single item from the stack of items you're hovering over, and if you press Control Q, it will drop the entire stack all at once. Really useful during tense PvP situations where you don't have a lot of time to sort your inventory. Alright, last one. Breeding mobs can be essential part of long-term survival in Minecraft, but did you know that you can use the breeding item, such as wheat for cows, to speed up the baby mobs growth process? You'll see some particles to indicate that it's working. Pretty neat if you're looking to make a really big mob farm really fast. So that about covers it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video. It helps out the channel, the video, and myself quite a lot. And if you want to see a creative mode list like this, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is AntVenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.